Hello everyone and welcome to part zero, an overview on a tutorial series I'm going to be doing in Unreal Engine 4. So we're going to be making a Tetris game and it's pretty straightforward. There isn't anything too crazy. Um, there are a couple spots that will get a little a little bit hard to understand, but uh, you could be a pretty much a beginner to intermediate to be able to follow along. And uh, if you're having any problems, like it's not working or something, be sure to check back and make sure you didn't just make a simple mistake or not, or you didn't wire something or you wired it wrong. Um, so this is the final project or the final result we're going to have. It's going to open up in a little window uh, by default. On I'm going to show you how to do that on a shipping build. It might not be the official way and how to do it, but uh, it does work. So. So go ahead and this is the game, just Tetris. You can press X or uh, Square actually because I'm on a PS4 controller. But uh, you can press Square or X if you're on Xbox to instantly drop the block. You can press Triangle or Y to hold a piece. And you can clear a row. I'm not going to be able to clear the row because uh, I kind of set it up bad. But you can clear the row. Uh, you can get up. You can, if you have four uh, full lines, then it'll play a little Tetris animation. Um, and then it'll also have a game over. So there you go. There's the game over. Uh, I'm going to show you how to like um, how the physics on the pieces, um, how they fall. I'm going to show you that. Um, that is a little bit more on the performance side, but only by like a real, real small margin. So you shouldn't have to worry too much. And so the other thing I'd like to show you uh, before we get too much into it is that you can rotate the pieces and they won't go out of bounds. They'll push themselves back in bounds. So um, you can rotate it so like this. And then if you try to move to the left or to the right, you know, it, it stops it. It also will collide with other blocks. And when I say collision, it's not actually using collision. It's actually using an array of booleans. And we're just going to figure out the, if the block next to it, if there's a block next to it. And if there isn't, let it move. And if there's not, uh, or if there is something in the way, don't let it move. And like I said, it'll push itself out of the way. That's pretty much the part where it's going to get a little bit challenging. Or not challenging, but a little bit uh, tricky. But it's not anything too crazy. And I believe that's everything for the game as of right now. Um, I'm also going to show you... So I have a Patreon that I'm, I'm going to set up. Uh, for more aesthetic things like uh, the main menu screen and the background, how it has the falling blocks. So you can see the falling blocks in the background. That's going to be on uh, Patreon. Um, so if you want to follow me there, it's just aesthetic changes. It's nothing really too serious. You're going to definitely get the bulk of the uh, how to play the game. Or I mean, how to make the game. And also the little ghost piece. I'm not sure exactly what that is called. Um, I, I refer to it as the ghost piece. If anyone knows what it's actually called, uh, let me know in the comments because I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and I should also mention, so you can go to my Patreon page that I have. Um, I just set it up um, and I'm going to have all the videos. They're all, are all already going to be uploaded on there. You can go there if you'd like to you know, watch the videos all at once. And then also I have a uh, PayPal account if you want to just do one-time support uh, to support my tutorials. Uh, if you don't want to support me on either, that's completely okay. And also I would like to mention the EXE or the executable. That is completely for free. I'm going to put a link to it in the description where you can download it and see what we're going to be making. But like I said, I would like to mention there are a couple of things that aren't going to be in the, this tutorial because it was kind of a lot to make. Um, but it's just pretty much, like I said, just aesthetic things. Nothing, everything gameplay is going to be in the tutorial series. So, and also I'm going to try and keep each video. There should only be about 10 parts, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I'm going to try and keep it within 15 to 20 minutes. I'll, I will try my best, but I cannot guarantee that. So be on the lookout for the videos. They should be up within the next few days the only problems i'm having is just uh recording i'm trying to get that worked out but yeah so i will uh see you then